Then Imam al barbahari Rahimahullah, he followed that with the point that occurs here in volume 2 on page 152, point number 124. The saying of Imam al barbahari Rahimahullah, وَالصَّلَوَاتُ الْخَمْسُ جَائِزَةٌ خَلْفَ مَنْ صَلَّيْتَ خَلْفَهُ إِلَّا أَنْ يَكُونَ جَحْمِيًّا فَإِنَّهُ مُعَطِّلٌ وَإِنْ صَلَّيْتَ خَلْفَهُ فَعَئِدْ صَلَاتَكَ وَإِنْ كَانَ إِمَامُكَ يَوْمَ الْجُمُعَةِ جَحْمِيًّا وَهُوَ سُلْطَانٌ فَصَلِّ خَلْفَهُ وَأَعِدْ صَلَاتَكَ وَإِنْ كَانَ إِمَامُكَ مِنَ السُلْطَانِ وَغَيْرِهِ صَاحِبَ سُنَّةٍ فَصَلِّ خَلْفَهُ وَلَا تُعِدْ صَلَاتَكَ He said, رحمه الله, and the five daily prayers are permissible behind anyone except a jahmi since he is one who totally negates if you have prayed behind him then repeat your prayer and if he is your imam on the day of Jumu'ah or rather if and if on the day of Jumu'ah your imam is a jahmi and he is a ruler then pray behind him but repeat your prayer and if your imam whether a ruler or not is a person of the sunnah then pray behind him and do not repeat your prayer Shaykh Fawzan he said in explanation his saying وَالصَّلَوَةُ الْخَمْسُ جَائِزَةٌ خَلْفَ مَنْ صَلَّيْتَ خَلْفَهُ and the five daily prayers are permissible behind anyone whom you pray behind Shaykh Fawzan said this is the issue of the imama the leadership in the prayer who is the one who will be correct to act as an imam and who will not be correct to act as an imam and Shaykh Fawzan, Shaykh Fawzan said breaking the issue down he said firstly if the imam is the ruler if the imam, the one leading the prayer, is the ruler. He said, then he is prayed behind. Then he is prayed behind, as will follow, without looking at what he engages in, from that which involves sin, and acts contrary to what is correct as long as he does not exit from the religion because the Prophet sallallahu commanded prayer behind him or he said he commanded prayer behind them I mean the rulers in order to preserve unity and to avoid splitting so no matter what he has from sins and acts of disobedience as long as it, as it does not reach the level of kufr, of disbelief then he is to be prayed behind in order to preserve unity particularly with regard to the Jumu'ah prayers and the Eid prayers and likewise the obligatory prayers and if the person in authority is a jahmi then you should pray behind him but you should repeat your prayer you pray behind him the prayer but then later on on your own you repeat that prayer then Shaykh Fawzan said secondly the second case if the imam who is sinful is not a ruler then this is a point of disagreement between the scholars and they have two sayings the first saying is that some of the scholars 
lay down the condition for him of adala, of uprightness. Uh, he must be upright, righteous individual. So he said, I mean, the, the Imam who's going to lead you, and he's not a ruler, but he's a he's a sin is a sinner, fasiq. And the first thing in this regard is that some of the scholars said that some of the scholars lay down the condition for him of uprightness such that it is not correct to pray behind the fasib, behind the sinful person who commits a major sin from the major sins which are less than shirk they said he should not be prayed behind because he is not upright and he should not be taken as an imam so that's the first thing he should not be prayed behind if he's not a, a, a ruler he's a sinner a person guilty of major sin but he's not a ruler then the first thing he shouldn't be prayed behind because there's a condition of up uprightness then Sheikh Fazal mentions the second saying of the scholars he said the second saying is that as long as he is a Muslim one whose own prayer is correct then it is correct to pray behind him so one should pray behind every Muslim even if he, if he has something from sins which are less than shirk and less than disbelief then he should be prayed behind and this is what apparent this is what is apparent from the speech of the author Sheikh of Awzans indicating that the second saying seems to be what's apparent from the saying of Imam al Bahari that he supports this view that's why Sheikh of Awzan ends explanation of this point and just briefly with regard to the explanation of Sheikh Ahmad al-Najmi Rahimahullah and he said on this same point I say the author Rahimahullah made clear that the five daily prayers are permissible behind whomever you pray behind from the Muslims as long as he is not a Jahmi for he, for he is a Mu'attil a total denier, negator and if you were to pray behind him then you should repeat your prayer meaning if you pray if you have prayed behind a jahmi then repeat your prayer then Shaykh Ahmad said and the jahmi he is, he is the one who negates the names and attributes he denies the names in the names of Allah the Most High and the attributes and who says that the Quran is something created then Shaykh, Shaykh Ahmad said and the author did not mention anyone else besides the Jahmi from the people of innovations even if they are severe innovations which cause the person to reach the level of disbelief such as the innovations of the Shia the extreme Shia those who abuse Abu Bakr and Umar and Aisha and who say that the Ahlul Bayt those of the family of the Prophet وسلم, are infallible and who say that Jibreel was actually sent to Ali but he came and brought the messengership to Muhammad وسلم, as an error from him to the rest of their stupid sayings Shaykh said and likewise the Mu'tazila, those who say that the Qur'an is something created and who deny pre-decree and who state that events just happen I mean, without pre-decree and like those people are also the extreme Shia those who are extreme in their Sufism or rather he said the extreme Sufis those who are in their Sufism such that they have the saying of Wahdat al Wujud, that everything in existence, the creator and the creation, creation, are one, and the like of those people. Sheikh Ahmad said, so their ruling 
is like the ruling of the Jahmi. And they're treated in this regard the same as the Jahmi. As for the people of innovations which do not, whose innovations do not reach the level of kufr, disbelief, rather they are innovations which render them sinful, then what is apparent is that prayer behind them is permissible without having to repeat it. Then he said, وَإِنْ كَانَ And if your imam is a ruler or other than him and he, or he said, if your imam is a ruler or other than him and he is a person of the sunnah then pray behind him and do not repeat your prayer. He said, and I say that a person following a Muslim in the prayer following a person of the sunnah praying behind a person of the sunnah this is a matter that is desirable it's what is matlu required, de desirable, wanted and prayer behind him will be correct however if the imam is a person of innovation whose innovation is slight not reaching the level of kufr disbelief salam not reaching the level of disbelief and not taking him outside of the religion of Islam then the prayer is permissible behind him and it is not binding to repeat it and Allah is the one who grants success and finally on this same point then Shaykh Salih al-Suhaymi Hafizullah he said what is intended here is that the author drew attention to the fact that prayer behind the Jahmiya, prayer behind the Jahmis, is not correct. And he intended by that the initial, the first Jahmis, those who denied everything, those who denied all of the names of Allah and His attributes. But as for those who have some aspects of the Jahmiya, like the Mu'tazila, and the Ash'aris and the Maturidis and other than them from those who have some of the characteristics of the Jahmis <coughs> then regarding this one what is correct is that prayer behind them is correct however it should be, it can, it should be done after seeking to find one who is better and after searching for, the, for one who is better for prayer behind the innovator who does not become a disbeliever on account of his innovation is correct if no one else is found so if someone else is found then it is binding to take someone else in his place and he repeated that and then he said but as for if he is the regular appointed imam then it is befitting that he should be prayed behind to preserve the united body of the Muslims. <laughs>